Morning everybody, my name's Taylor Smith here at Truck Tra Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. And today I'm very excited to be going over a 2023 King Air and it's a 4531. So if you happen to tune in with me last week, it was it's the same exact floor plan. So we're gonna kind of go over the, some of the things that I missed and just did, didn't really touch on in that video. So this will be a shorter video, but we're gonna fill in everything I missed out on last time. So let's go ahead and start with the heart of the coach here, which is the chassis. Alrighty, just open up that door for you. So this is on a Spartan K3 605. Um, the engine is a Cummins X15. It has an Allison 4000 um, MH. And then of course that horsepower is the 605 at 1800 RPMs. And then the torque is 1,950 foot-pounds of torque at 1,150 RPMs. And then the towing capacity is going to be 20,000 pounds. Everything red here that you're gonna see is going to be Cummins. So just nice little quick tip there. Here's where you will fill your engine oil. And the dipstick is located right here. But just, it's a given with Spartan, they keep everything within hand's reach. And then when I go and close this too, I'll kind of point out some of the other things that Spartan does for you to easily access and change out yourself. And then this nice big air filter here will take in ambient air from the top, filter it all the way down to give you the cleanest, freshest air inside of your engine. So it's just nice little protector there. And then down below on our hitch, we do have a Voyager. And then we have a towing braking. Uh, so you have an, an already a ping tank built in here. It's called Safe Hall. Um, so it doesn't distract with any other air brakes that you have on the coach. It's just a separate air brake system specifically for your tow vehicle, just to ensure that you're having a safe braking system for your tow vehicle as well. All right, we'll slide back over here. Here are the other air, air dryer, fil uh, air filter right here and then your fuel filter. So that's another thing that's really accessible to you as a customer to kind of change out. And then you have your chassis batteries back here as well with your battery disconnects. And then a nice little thing to open and close that chassis door for you. All right, now that we have it closed, I love this just flossy honeycomb texture to the chassis. And then up above, we do, you can't really see the camera, that's way up high <laughs> at the very top. Um, but we do have one poking out right here. This coach does have a 360 camera, which is also used as a security system. So it's super awesome to have that. And as we round the corner over here, I just wanted to let you guys know, this is the Murloc graphics. So I personally think you can never go wrong with red. That's just my favorite color. Um, but beautiful and glossy here with our five um, cut and buff, as well as gloss. So you can't feel any of the differentiation between any of the colors. It's just one smooth um, texture throughout. A side radiator. Right here is your death fill. So it's accessible on either side and it's gonna be 15 gallons. Our tag axle here which just will give you a better turning, in ra uh, turning radius. That's where Newmar gets the whole turning on a dime. Right here is just where you can keep um, your slinky. So it's a safe place to kind of store it in case it does get a little dirty. Our beautiful push button doors. There we go, I'll pop open for you. Here is uh, one of our lithium ion battery packs. So this is gonna be 1,260 AHR. So it's just one battery pack. You do have another one that is the same uh, battery power. So you have about 2,520 AHR watts for your battery. Tremendous battery power there. And you also have four sun-free um, solar panels up on top and they're going to be 100 watts each and then you do have one specifically for your chassis so that's nice right here in our wet bay i love the elegant stainless steel background here it gives it more of a cleaner sleeker look 
And then you just have all of your shutoff valves here for your cold water as well as your hot water. So if you want to work on anything, you can go ahead and shut off that valve individually. We have a nice little monitor over here that's going to show all of our tank levels. So for our freshwater tank, it's going to be 105 gallons. Um, our gray is 80 and our black is 60. And then you can also access your um, tilt. Here, let me pull it up here. So you have a tilt, so it'll just air up the passenger side of the coach just to help you with that gray tank to speed up the dumping process. Down here you have your the water tap, your fresh water auto fill, and then inside here you just have your gray tank rinse, whoops, and your black tank rinse, your filter, all the dumping down here with your slinky, nice little power reel hose. And then of course, the outdoor shower. Perfect if you're at the beach to sand off, uh, so rinse off your sandy feet. There we go. Alrighty. Inside here, we just have our 50 amp shore power cord with our surge guard protector. And then you can also just see your silver leaf panel right there. So if you're having any malfunctions with the silver leaf, that's where your controller is. And then you do have some plugins right here as well. All right. All righty, these next two bays are just gonna be for storage. I'll kind of open them both up just so you can see. And of course they are on, they are powered. Nice powered trays so you don't have to worry about sliding all the way back there to get something that slipped all the way back. These do open up as well. So you can slide in and slide out things a little bit more gracefully, even though I'm not being graceful right now with my left hand. <laughs> Alrighty. bring it back in and I just love these doors because unlike any other class A they're so easy to just close you don't have to worry about slamming them shut <laughs> well slamming them shut more than once I should actually say alrighty the road wave pressure washer system so you got a pretty big pressure washer here to hose off anything you'd like and then you just have some extra filters and stuff in here as well. And then some shut off valves for your filtered water, your UV filtered in and some other specs here. And then you have a nice little squeegee. I love this beautiful car, like a carpeted mat. It's more of like a plasticky mat, but it's just, it's gonna help with the rust um, mold or just any liquids that you have in here. So a little bit better durability underneath your slides. And then here is our diesel fuel tank. So unlike the 2022s being a 200 gallon tank, the 2023s actually have 165 gallons there. Um, so they just had to change a few things up just for weight capacities, um, but still a tremendous amount of fuel there. And then sliding in here, we have a few extra fuses, which Numar does standard throughout any of their models. And then we will go ahead and extend that generator. Whoops. So we can pop it out here. Alrighty. As you can see, we have our air horns right here. Our big, beautiful generator. Um, I like how it's on an automatic reel, so you don't have to really pull at it or anything like that. You have your windshield wiper fluid. But a big Cummins Onon generator. And then we'll just get a, once we're done looking at that, we'll go ahead and get an overview of just the front cap. They have another camera up at top there beautiful flush mounted windshield and then our mobile eye directly below which will be our lane parturing um, system and as you could tell um, you can't see any of the windshield wipers 
It's not only for the look, but it's also just for the snow, heat, and also wear and tear on the windshield wipers. Uh, I know windshield wipers aren't that expensive, um, but it's just another little thing that Newmar does to kind of stand out and show um, what they build as far as quality of products for longevity, not only for themselves, but also for the customer. So the customer is always the, the front face of their minds. Jeez, I can't speak right now, but. <laughs> Alrighty, we have our big, beautiful Gerard awnings, all three of them out. So right over our door and then our two big split for the full wall awning of the coach. Our big, beautiful steps here. They're a little bit more heavy duty and you also do have a little power override just in case they're kind of not closing all the way or not coming out all the way. It's super awesome. You just push the button, they go all the way out. And then by the time you close the door and turn on your chassis, they'll automatically come back in. If you don't put them all the way out though on that power override, it won't come all the way back in. So you just want to make sure you're getting them as far out as they can. And then once you start up that chassis, it'll bring them back in for you. Beautiful grab bar here with a passcode totally up to you of what you'd like to make it. And then you have a beautiful doorbell right below there. You also have a nice little camera. We'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the exterior of the coach. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, you can always reach out to me. Um, it's just a little bit faster for the outside this time, just because my last video was the same floor plan. Um, and I just wanted to go over the different colors and mainly focus on the interior this time. So of course we have some spare tile in there as well in case anything happens with what's already inside for you. You have your Samsung TV with your Bose surround sound. Some more storage and our central back hoses here. Nice, clean and fresh. And then this is where you would plug it in for your road vacuum. And then you do have where you can make it into a fridge or a freezer. Totally up to you. So very spacious inside here. The control panel is on the side. And then you, we kind of overpass the, the Oasis is right here. So this is going to be, of course, I just said the Oasis, <laughs> hydronic heating system. Um, but I did just want to point out that it's an 85K BTU dual loop heat um, with continuous hot water. So this is one of the largest hydronic heating systems. Um, they go from 35,000 BTU to 85. So this is definitely top notch um, heating system for you for this exquisite King Air. All right, some more storage here with the stainless steel um, cubbies for you. Then this one you lift up. Here is that second lithium ion battery pack. And then you also have two of your um, Xantrax. Geez, I'm drawing a blank. Sorry, your 3000 watt inverters. So this is gonna be, um, give you the luxury to run two ACs while you're going down the road. And the very last one here that I haven't showed you guys is just that second option for a deaf fill. And then up above here, we have our um, emergency exit door pops out. Well, you can open it and then a lot a ladder automatically pops out that you can retract back in and put away nicely. Um, so I love how Newmar just kind of gives you the option to not only use it once, but to use it however you'd like. Alrighty, before we go back inside the coach and talk about all the interiors, I just wanted you to take in this beautiful Merlot graphics. And um, just for the King Air specifically, you have 10 um, graphics designs that you can pick from, or you can completely customize it um, to your liking. So then there'd be no other coach out there um, in that color that you customize it. So that's super cool. <clears throat> All right, here is the magnetic screen door, just in case if it's a beautiful day and it's not too toasty outside, it's starting to pick up a little bit today. So I'll pop on that generator and make sure all three, sorry, it does lock. 
there we go. Make sure you unlock it before you pull it off the hinges. <laughs> but I did just want to show you, this is the um, manual override for your steps, this little black button here. And then you have your uh, door latches to unlock and to lock. So they're automatically going to lock once you turn on that chassis and you're going down the road. And then you have your step well lighting and then your power um, disconnect for your house batteries. All right, we'll just go ahead and take a nice overview of the inside and just how it looks with the slides in. I'm just going to show you guys visually. I'm not going to walk down through it um, just so you can kind of get the idea. And then you can see how open it gets with me just opening up those slides. All right, so let's just start with the driver's side. Just a little bit of information while the slides are opening up. This is actually going to be your Abilene decor, Abilene, I'm probably saying it wrong, so apologies there. Um, but beautiful, more luxurious nudes, which are really in right now. Just the soft browns, some gray to pops of texture there. The cabinets um, are hardwood cabinets, European style, um, that have more that have dual magnets in them. So just to ensure there's no rattling or shaking while you're going down the road, because we want to minimize any noises, because that will definitely fatigue you while you're going down the road. And then also just for all the leather in here, it is going to be a Latin leather. So it's very buttery soft, um, a little bit more cooling. And now I'll just go ahead and open this bedroom slide. So we have three slides here. And this is a big, beautiful King um, sleep number. Air R5 mattress. Alrighty, now we are completely all opened up here. Before I get completely into it, I just wanted to point out just the interior height inside here, the King Air specifically. It's gonna be seven feet, two inches. And if we could just kind of take a little overview of the actual ceiling itself. Um, so this is going to be cathedral ceilings to also help give it a bigger feel inside of the coach. Um, but you have this magnificent ostrich leather um, it, on top of the ceiling. <laughs> Sorry, um, but you can kind of see just the little specks inside of it. it gives it a little bit more textured feel. Um, so definitely another luxurious accent to the King Air. And then now we'll just go ahead and go to our main bathroom here. <clears throat> and I'll just point out this exit door. So it does have a lock on it, so you don't have to worry about it accidentally popping open or anything like that. We're going, to, going down the road. You'll just go ahead and unlock it open this door so very easy and this is actually on a nice little magnetic thing here and then the ladder is uh, directly behind that and it is like a stainless steel it's not going to be cloth um, so you don't have to worry about any weight capacities there um, the only thing you really got to worry about is crawling over the toilet but I mean in an emergency I don't think you'll be worrying about that um, and then the beautiful Sorry, I keep saying beautiful, it's terrible. Um, but yeah, I love the stainless steel accents. It's gonna be actually around all of the windows, so I'll make sure to point that out too when we're in the kitchen. It just definitely opens up the window itself. And now inside of the shower, make sure we unlock it here. We have the seat that you can also prop up directly above that. You also have your conditioner, shampoo, and then you can also throw some body wash in there. You have more of a rainfall shower head and then also an, another shower head that is adjustable and removable. Down below that little blue plasticky thing is actually an aquamizer system. So that's just gonna filter out um, all of your cold water and reheat it until it's the temperature um, that you would like. So you'll just set that temperature and when it turns red, then that's when you know it is hot water. So just kind of another way to save 
all of that fresh water capacity that you have on top of the coach, well, inside of the coach. Perfect. And then, don't want to forget to show you, let me unlock it first, the closet space here. So you have the safe with a pin code, a bunch of cubby holes here that are carpeted, um, just perfect for shoes. And then I love this big open space too, because that could be another spot for shoes. Um, because with here, you're kind of limited. Maybe you can only fit one shoe in there and that's kind of a little bit of waste of space. So no matter what shoe size you are, you kind of have somewhere where you can put your shoes. And then up top, I mean, you can put your clones or anything up there in bags or... And then the just nice little touch here for the lighted bar for your hanging rack. Definitely opens everything up and then you also have a neon light up top there. Some more big beautiful shelves. Here I go again saying beautiful. I just need to take that out of my vocabulary, but it's okay. I'm trying, I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, we'll just lock that again so I don't forget. And then we have our huge one sink, but you do have two beautiful um, spigots here. This is gonna be quartz countertop. So this is something that you or you can only get in the King Air. Um, so throughout this whole entire coach, they're all gonna be quartz. And then they're super polished just to give you um, the brightest, shiniest accent there. So here's your medicine cabinet. You'll see these little control panels all over the coach. So this is gonna be for your lighting. You can go to the house here. So you got lighting, shades, fans, systems will be for like your TV, um, your water pumps, and then also your aquamizer. And then you have your windows and display brightness for the window awnings. Right over here is another motion sensor. So you can automatically set the temperature. I mean, set the temperature. It's getting kind of hot in here. So I'm thinking about temperature, sorry. <laughs> um, so you could set this to whatever light you'd like to automatically turn on. So in the middle of the night, if you walk in, um, this will automatically turn on maybe like the underneath light just so you can kind of see where you're going. So you're not going to trip or fall. I'll just really quick open all this storage for you because it gets pretty redundant but you got three on either side and then some more storage under here and then while you're down there you just see the beautiful um graphic design for your tile inside of the bathroom and then of course whirlpool washer and dryer which is vented to help ensure a better dry quality Alrighty, and now we'll step into the master bedroom here. Another little thing that Numar does for the King Airs, I just love these blinds. It gives it more of a homey feel because it actually looks like a blind. They're more cloth, um, so it's not really going to attract as much dust as like the regular wood do, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe tell me different. <laughs> um, but it just looks so much more luxurious inside of the bedroom, especially being that brownish taupe color. Again, a bunch of storage down here. Nice three drawers. They're not very deep, but they are there. And then you have that fireplace. They are all soft clothes. So plenty of storage here. And then also the storage above the bed. <clears throat> And just to point out too, no matter what side you lay on, it's not like one side's gonna be the co-pilot who runs at all the controllers. You have this little screen again on either side so you can um, change the lightings if you forget and you're nice and comfy in bed or if you wanted to read a book um, and then not have to get out of bed after you're done reading a book because you're about to fall asleep. You can just easily turn off all the lights from there. <laughs> Here is our upgraded 10 inch silver leaf panel here. So if I just go to the home, it'll kind of show you all of the tank capacities there, your AC and DC power, um, the water, whoops, as well as your climate. Block heater, so all of the bays, I forgot to mention they are heated. Oops. Go back. 
And then you have the coach mode, so if you're away, your floor heat, your cameras, again, for the security system, so you can flip through all of your cameras just in case you heard a weird noise in the middle of the night or during the day. And then here is just zone, different zones for your lighting, so you can do the rear, the mid of the coach, or the, sorry, the front of the coach, the mid of the, uh, mid coach, or the, the bedroom, or your back master bat, uh, bathroom. But just a quick little overview there, and then you also have this accessible too, for which will be throughout the whole entire coach. And then, then you will see these sporadically throughout the coach as well for those motion sensors. I love this little door, especially the handle. It kind of puts itself away so you don't have to really worry about getting caught on the door handle or just kind of just gives it a sleeker look not having a door handle. But I'll go ahead and uh, I'm not going to pop inside this time because I opened everything last time <laughs> and I kind of showed you the little secret areas so you can know what you can run off of those two inverters and so forth. But it definitely has a lot of lights in there to brighten up that whole bathroom for you. Perfect. And directly across, this is going to be our pantry, which are all retractable. And then you have a perfect little spot to put your pots, well, some pans, or maybe some bigger plates for cookies or turkey or anything like that if you're driving on the go. We have our big refrigerator. It is going to be Viking here. Kind of open that up for you. So plenty of shelves that you could take out, readjust um, to your liking. And then down below for your freezer. And then you have the ice cube tray right there. And I just love how this fridge has all of the temperatures and settings on the side. So when you do close it up and put it away, there are no buttons that you can kind of see from just looking at it at a glance. All right, now we'll move into the kitchen area. One of my favorite things here, something I definitely would want in a home one day, where you could just get rid of the microwave if you wanted to. So you have a Viking microwave, also convectional oven. A little bit of storage up there, just depends on um, what you would like to put up there. Just get rid of the microwave. Another one of the control panels. And then we also have a few of these charging for a coffee maker or um, an additional air fryer or whatever you'd like to plug in in your kitchen and kind of store it in the back there. We have a two burner wolf induction. And then the other side is a cutting board. Again, with the quartz countertops throughout. So this is pretty heavy. I only had one out just so I didn't have to mess with it a bunch. And then you have the big farm style stainless steel sink. So you don't have a divider in this one, which could be a downfall just depending on your preference because then you can't really do the wa uh, wash and rinse. Um, but you can get all of your dishes all nice and soapy and then, whoops, kind of rinse them off all at once. But it's just up to you, whatever is important to you on what you'd like with your sink. Some storage here, nice little stainless steel trash can, and then you do have the dishwasher. Just go ahead and open these up so you can see all of the storage. soft clothes. Whoops. There we go. So this window right over the kitchen um, is actually an upgrade, but I think it is a beautiful, highly recommended upgrade in my preference. Um, so all of these are going to be frameless, dual pane tinted windows with the stainless steel around it just to give it a brighter, bigger look. Um, but it definitely opens up the entirety of the coach. Right over here is going to be our main TV. It is a Samsung with the 900 Bose 
surround sound bar in it. We got some more charging. Got to push right here. There we go. More charging right next to you. And then this couch does turn into a bed. Um, and I have to say all of the couches, theater seatings, dinette, or even your captain's chairs, when people come in and they look at a King Air, they're definitely blown away by the quality and the luxury feel of the furniture. Um, so I would definitely recommend just coming and testing that out as well. Here are the theater seats that are heated and massaged. Um, and then you just have a little light in here for your cup holder. That's not working at the moment. Um, but you do have some storage in here. Just nice and carpeted with some USB. <clears throat> right over here is the booth dinette. Let's see. Okay. I thought this was the table that um, extends. It does, but it's just stuck. I can't pull it out. Um, but you could pull it out and kind of add some more chairs to kind of fit four people, um, just depending what you're more comfortable with. Um, but just sitting here with the big open windows, just it makes you feel like you're in a house and not your, um, and not really in a coach or a bus or anything, just because of how comfortable it feels inside and homey. All right, I think I covered everything in the kitchen. I'm not forgetting anything. Um, we can go up here to the cockpit. And so the chairs, this is the upgraded, bigger captain's chair here, um, just to give it more of a comfier ride. But it is cool and heated and massaged, of course. And it also does rotate. And once you do have it rotated, or if you're not the co-pilot, um, then you can prop up your feet while you're going down the road. And of course, this nice little step cover pops out and makes your whole entire floor nice and flush. Another thing for comfortability while you're going down the road. And then you also have your own little navigation system over here and you can control the radio so you don't have to worry about leaning over or feeling like you have to unfasten your seatbelt to kind of change anything over here or kind of bug the driver. So totally up to you. All right. Sliding over here, I'll start up the chassis. All right. Go ahead and let it wake up here. So you do have a connected coach, five glare free um, digital dash display. The steering wheel is going to be heated, which is amazing um, during winter, especially. Um, not really saying you will take it in winter, but if you do, you have that option. And then you have memory seating controls too for the seats that I forgot to mention. So you have two um, seating configurations and it's also going to entail for your mirrors, your seat, and also your steering wheel. So I think that's super cool. If you do have two people driving the coach, you don't always have to worry about oh, configuring it and getting it just right. Just with a push of a button, it'll automatically sync to how you had it most comfortable last time. So that's awesome. Um, just going over a little bit protection of this entire coach. You do have the automatic traction control, you ha um, adaptive cruise control as well, and then your collision mitigation system. We'll go over here to the menu so you can just overview everything, the radio, um, media, your Sirius XM, your Bluetooth. Um, whoops, you can go to your settings. Oops, I went back settings for your comfort drive to kind of your mobile eye and then also the navigation but you kind of set everything to your liking um, from over here or you can either adjust them to in the settings while you're going down the road and then this is just going to be for all of your cameras and then you have all your beautiful controllers there but again if you guys had any questions comments or concerns or you're just interested in an, uh, in a king air but this one doesn't really check all the boxes for you i would definitely be happy to kind of chat with you and kind of see um, what's most important to you and kind of what i recommend um, what we can place in order we can just chat about it um, plan for something in the future i'd definitely be happy to help I'll just pull up my clipboard here so you can take a screenshot if you'd like or my information will be below. But again, my name's Taylor Smith. Thank you guys again for joining in and I hope it helped out a little bit. Bye guys, have a good day.